Hey, welcome to the lab. Let's talk about freedom and the ability to get away from it all for a, for a good chunks of time, like sometimes weeks at a time. You know, you read stuff, right? And you go, man, that would be so cool. Like the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss, the escape nine to five, live anywhere, join the new rich. You know, if you haven't read it, you should. It's, it's got some good stuff in it. And he recommends this other book called Vagabonding, which I thought, oh, I like this book. So I'll, I'll get the book that he recommends. And uh, Vagabonding by uh, Rolf Potts. And Rolf, here's a, Man, this, this hits the nail on the head as far as, you know, when I read this, I went, holy smokes, that's exactly right. So he says, ultimately then, the first step of vagabonding, or what we're wanting to do to get away for weeks at a time, is simply a matter of making work serve your interest instead of the other way around. Believe it or not, this is the radical departure of how most people view work and leisure. And it's like, no kidding. So instead of business ruling your life, why don't you think about what you want and then set up business to make that happen? That's what we're all, that's, that's how you get away. And so, so I thankfully am hell bent on that and have for years. And, and here's, here's one of the, one of the things I've done recently, and I'm not here to give you a home slideshow or that kind of thing, but, but uh, this is my son, Evan. Last summer, we had gone to Croatia and swam in the Adriatic and climbed and, and had fantastic food, got to the top of this mountain. We're on our way back and we're, we're swinging through Paris for a few days and we were at a, at a cafe for breakfast and I saw this guy. And this guy, he, he had a, uh, an ashtray full of cigarette butts. He was chain smoking. You could tell he was just dreading having to go to work. And, and I thought, man, it's not only him, but I read an article recently that said 80% of all Americans hate their jobs. And that's just not, that's not employers. That's employees, employees and employers. You know, sometimes you create a business and it's like, ah, oh, man, this is horrible. So, so when I saw that, I thought, man, I'm so thankful that Evan and I are here and we've been able to do these things. And we've done this kind of thing for years and I'm able to go on two or three of these trips a year and be gone seven, eight, nine weeks, so, you know, a year, two weeks at a time. And how do I do that? Because when I come back or when I see friends, I go, hey, man, where you been recently? You know, because I've done these things all over the world. And I don't say that to impress you, but to impress upon you that you can do it too. Because I thought, well, how do, you, how do I do that? So I, I wanted to set it up. I wanted to write it out so, so that you could maybe do the same thing. And the first thing was the real freedom attitude, just like that vagabonding book. It's like, I'm hell bent on, on business working for me rather than you know, uh, against me. And, and also, uh, so I have that mindedness and, and I put it in my calendar every week. I don't, I actually, I don't know if it's every week or two, but it pops up a calendar thing on a Saturday and it says, what, what's your next adventure? Where do you want to go? What do you want to experience? What do you want to learn? What do you want to show your kids? What do you want to taste and smell and climb and swim in? And I mean, it goes on to all these things. And, and so I'm always thinking about what, what kind of adventure would be cool. I want to know what they want to do because I love hanging out with them. I like doing adventures with them. And then I go, all right, because you can, you can leave your business and just leave it hanging. That's no good. But I go, all right, this, this freedom thing, I, if, if my business relies on me, and if I'm not here, then, and if it goes down, that means the business relies on me and the business is less valuable and I'm more valuable. I don't want that. I want to be less valuable and I want the business to be more valuable so it doesn't need me. So if I can figure out while I'm here how to, how to set this up so business more valuable doesn't need me, it's, it, the business is stronger, more valuable, and I get more freedom. That's, a, that's one to work on right there. And then I ask myself high, high, high quality questions like I write in Rewire by doing an Einstein. I go, well, how can I make it work? So all those things you see about what I do with emails, jam time, voicemails, all those things, timers, all those things are set up so that I can be free. While I'm jammed, I'm jamming. Let me do that so I can go around the world and do whatever I want. And then I do dry runs like, all right, let's set this up and let's not go to the office for three days and, and see how it goes. I mean, still in contact. You know, they still think I'm, I'm in my office. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And before I go, I am freaking relentless. Like right now, it's a Sunday at 
almost seven o'clock at night. Evan has a lacrosse game later. I'll go to that. It'll be good. But I'm here because in, in three weeks from now, I'm leaving for two weeks. We're going to the Virgin Islands, going to the island of St. Thomas for two weeks. And, and I want to feel good about being there and like I deserve to be there. So I, I get all kinds of stuff done before I go. I can feel good when I'm leaving. I, didn't, I did more than I needed to do. And then when I'm there, I stay, I stay somewhat connected. You know what? You know, some things come up that, you know, it's the deal with my team. Look, I'm going to go, and sometimes I'm going to go for an extended time, but you can still find me. One of the, one of the big things of being, about being remote and being a vagabond is that you're not a transient and disconnected. They can still find you, but you know what? They usually don't. They think you're on vacation. Um, you know, and, and I still do a lot, of, a lot of things while I'm away. Like, I wrote Rewire all over the world. I wrote it on airplanes and beaches and, and uh, train stations and in airports and on flights and, and all over. This, is, this, this was being written while I was, you know, in the mornings when these guys are sleeping. <laughs> you know, I'm doing my stuff. It's not that I feel like a, a workaholic. I love this stuff. So uh, it's cool. We're in time zones. Um, you know, if you go east to west, you got to deal with that. If you go south, you don't. You know, working in India, about 12 hours difference is a little mess. Working in St. John is one hour. It's not that big a deal. London is six. Sweden is seven. Greece is eight. Um, and then do things break? Yeah, some things break. Some, some things break. And you come back and somebody's pissed that you went or, or whatever. But you know what? It's going to break anyway. And then, but it, what it does is it shows you where the holes are. It shows you where you need to work on knitting in more value, a stronger business so that you can go. And sometimes it's better. Sometimes they go, you know what? John's leaving. Let's do better while he's away than, than, than uh, we would if he was here. It's like, sweet. Yeah, that's the best thing. No, it's not the best thing. What the best thing is, is here's a a text I got from him recently. He said, I appreciate the trips we've gone on. Those are some of the best moments of my life. Mine, mine too. <laughs> you know, what's that worth? You know, what's that worth? You know, it, this isn't business we're experiencing. It's life we're experiencing and there's business in it. So what do you do? One, realize that if you can set yourself freer, then it increases the value and solidity of your business. And uh, build breathing space in now and take some dry runs. Test it. Make sure it works. And then go enjoy. This is life. This isn't business. And, and then come back and go, well, what happened? And then you know, knit in a little more strength, a little more security so that you can go again next time. And then add it. Go. Go. Add it to your life resume. And go have fun. Go live. Go experience. Don't be this guy. <laughs> go, go, go have a great time. Glad you're here. Thank you.